You probably saw this title of the video and clicked it straight away and thinking like, what is Vilush on about? Don't aim for an A or an A star. What is this guy on about? Is he for real? Is he mental? But just hear me out first of what I'm about to say and then you'll understand where I'm coming from. When I was revising for GCSEs, A-levels and universities, I never looked at the end goal. And the end goal, obviously, we always want to you know, get the top grade, whether it's A's and A stars. But I never looked at it like that. And the reason why I never looked at it like that is because it's very, very daunting and puts a lot of pressure on you when you say, OK, I need to get nine A stars. I need to get 10 A stars. I need to get four A stars. It's a lot of pressure that you're putting on yourself. And at certain times when you feel vulnerable, which you are going to feel vulnerable, it starts weighing on you so much. You'll feel very stressful and you will also feel demotivated. Think of it like this, right? Think of it like this, like you're probably going through this anyway. Like you're saying your parents or maybe you, I don't know, you have some expectations of yourself where you say, I need to get a certain number of grades, top grades, however many A stars or A's you want to get. How does that actually make you feel? Yes, to a certain extent, it gives you a bit of motivation to do, you know, to go and work, but really how does it make you feel? Think about that. How does it really make you feel? You're probably going to feel very intimidated by it and also making it a daunting task because it's not easy to say like or to think that, my gosh, I need to get four A stars for A levels. I need to get nine, ten A stars for GCSEs. I need to get first class for university. That's a very, that's a very heavy. It's a very, very heavy load that you're carrying. And the reason why I did not do that is because of those reasons. So now you might be thinking, so Vidush, what do I do then? Do I aim for C's and D's? No, 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 no. That's not what you do. What I did is you need to focus on the task in hand. That is it, nothing else. So, for example, if from the previous video that I've discussed, you now uh, hopefully you have a timetable of what you're doing each day, right? What you should be doing is you should be focusing on the task that you have today. So say, for example, you come after school today and you say you have two hours of biology to do. You make that two hours of biology the best revision that you can do. You don't worry about the grades. You don't worry about I need to get an A star. Because the problem is, when you start thinking that in the back of your mind, I need to get an A star, you're not actually putting the quality deep work that you need to do in the task in hand because you're stressed about the grade that you need to get. And it doesn't bring the best out of you. So what you want to be doing is you just make sure you focus on the task. And once you finish the task of, okay, I've done biology, you go and move on to the next task. And you do this day by day. This is literally why I did. When I was revising right for these exams, I did not even think about the grades. I said to myself, I'm going to do the best revision that I can. I'm going to see where I can go. I'm going to see how much effort I can put and I'm going to see what comes out of it. Whatever comes out of it is proportional to the effort I've put in and that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm not even thinking about, oh, I need to get a star. Like when I was doing GCC maths, for GCC maths, I got, so I was predicted to C in GCC maths. I'm going to do a different video on this, how I got a C or like a four in predicted and how I got an A star. And my final exam in GCC maths, I had, I had 99 and 98 in both papers. So I think I lost three marks out of the both papers. And the thing is, I knew when I did the papers where I lost those three marks. I did not predict that. When I was revising for maths and practicing for maths, I did not predict I was going to get this. I just did what I had to do, focus on the task and then go and perform. And that was so, so beneficial for me. First and foremost, I didn't have much stress. Second of all, I didn't put so much pressure on me. I <laughs> Pressure what? I'm just taking one step at a time. And the third was I was able to perform. I was able to perform. So what I would say to you guys is that just focus on the timetable that you set. Don't worry about the grades. Don't even worry about what your parents are saying. You need to get this and that. Like it's so easy for parents to say this stuff, right? I know they mean good and all that stuff, but you're the one who's going through this. So just when they say something, put it in one ear and let it go in the other ear. Don't worry about them. As long as you know you've put the effort, you're good. And I'll use a real life experience so that you can see what I'm saying is actually done in real life. Now, if you watch sports, for example, football or basketball or anything, right? A lot of these managers, when you look at the interviews, look at what they say in the interview. The way they get the interviewer, right? He will ask, oh, you're going to win the Premier League and all that. And what does the manager say? No, we're just taking it one game at a time. Have you ever noticed that? Have you ever noticed that the managers, or most of the managers say, we've got the three points. That's great. Now we're just going to focus on the next game. No one says we're going to win the Premier League. No one says we're going to focus on winning this. They don't say that. Why? Because if they start putting that mindset of we're going to win the Premier League, it's great to say that. But if, they, if that's what they're carrying all day, every day and not focusing on the task in hand, they're never going to win it. Taking it one game at a time means you can just focus on the next game. You don't need to worry about the end goal. Thinking about the end goal of, oh, I need to win the Champions League, the Premier League and all this stuff is very daunting. It's very heavy. So that's why they don't do that. They just focus on one game. And once they focus on one game and the next game and the next game and they start building momentum, then you can say, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that stage now where things are looking good. And that's what you should be doing. So 
don't if you don't believe what I'm saying, just go and look at these football managers, these other sports managers, what they say. Even when they they don't look at thinking, oh, I'm going to win all of this stuff. Of course, they have that goal, but they really look at one game at a time, one step at a time. And that's what you should be doing with your revision. Don't worry about the A stars. Don't worry about the A's. Focus on what you're doing and do the best that you can. Trust me, your stress levels, the pressure, everything will start reducing. Like these videos that I've been making right now for you guys, I've been making for the past, I don't know, three, four days, I think, like consecutively. I've never uploaded like this consecutively, right? I have, I'm running businesses as well on the side, but I'm doing this. How am I doing it? I'm not looking at, oh, I'm gosh, I'm going to, I have to put five, six videos every week. I don't do that. I'm just saying, okay, I'm going to focus on the next video. That is it. I'm going to focus on the next video to upload for you guys to help you guys out. And then once I've done that, I move on to the next video. And then when you do that, you realize, whoa, look what I've built. I've been building like a plethora of videos that's helping a lot of people out. And that makes me feel good. But I don't look at the end goal thing like, oh, I've got to upload like 100,000 videos because then I'm never going to do it. I'm never gonna do it. It's, it's gonna demotivate me and I'm not gonna enjoy it. I don't want that, I don't want that. I wanna do it as one step at a time. Focus on the one video and then that's it. Once I've done that and given my full effort, I move on to the next. So hopefully you've taken something from this video and kind of see a different way of how you can revise to achieve the goals that you wanna do. If there's anything that you want me to go through or anything like that, just put it down in the comments. Like I said, I'm more than happy to reply. People have been asking a lot of questions lately and I've been replying instantly. So if you're watching this and you have any stress, anything that you want me to help you on, just put it down in the comments. I will reply back to you, all right? I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.